I am making a Cubano slider. Oh. Kids, you know what's in the Cubano? Pork. Pork. Ham. Yes. Swiss mustard. cheese, pickles, mustard. Mustard, that's it. That's and it. Like, it's all about the bread, though. It's all about that it's Cuban about bread. That bread. So we are going to start with our bread here, these slider buns. Okay. We got some nice potato rolls here. So we're just going to lap that kind of across the equator. Okay. Now we got our 9 by 14 here. I got all my ingredients, starting with some melted butter. We're going to make a quick little mojo sauce okay. to help add some more flavor to our pork that we're going to put in a second. What? Because mojo is actually sauce. Yeah, mojo like means sauce. Sauce, sauce. It's like, it's like ragu. Saying, smart. It's like saying shrimp like, scampi, which I hate people. Yeah, say. Shrimp, well, shrimp scampi. So we're gonna add to this garlic, essential part of any mojo, plus our citrus ingredients, which is uh, the zest of an orange and a lime, some cumin. Ooh. Some. We got some fresh herbs too, in the form of oregano yeah. and parsley. So and with this butter, you're kind of mimicking what the pork would normally marinate. Exactly, because what I did was do a little shortcut, because this is a time saver, and. We we are just grabbing some pulled pork or plain pork from the deli aisle yep. or the hot bar mm -hmm. or the grab and go and shredding it ourselves. You can get, if you can find a pork loin in the deli, a lot of times you can get sliced pork loin or smoked pork loin. It's a great application. But Straight this down? is what they had. Yeah. Any you know what? I'm just gonna put a little Do it. Boutros Boutros butter on there. Mm. Just just to kind of help with the nonstick, a little more flavoring. I'll take it. But what you want to do is kind of let this steep for a couple minutes. Let it mix up and you can smell the garlic and the citrus. Oh. It's wonderful. It's both sweet and funky at the same time. I like sweet and funky. No, I'm gonna have you start layering, of course, the ham. No problem. Integral part of any Cuban. So, but like I always say, Sonny, little ribbon piles. it up. Across no on, on both things, right? Done. We got this going, all right? This doesn't need much, right? That garlic was, uh, you know, zested or minced. We're just going to put a little bit, make sure you mix it up into that pork directly. So you get a little hydration in there. Oh, it smells so good. Here we go. So we are going to now, I'm going to add my pork to this. Again, any pork will do as long as it's double pork. Mm -hmm. I'm so making this for the next Beagle family get together. This is like. Is this right up their alley, the Beagles so family? Go up the alley. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the ham, of course. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. need some good old dill pickles on there. I just wanted to touch the pork, sorry. Just That's all right. Excited. How did it feel? Felt good. It felt uh, succulent. That's good. I like That's... that you added the butter to it to kind of bring it back to life out Layers of that pack of flavors. That you bought. Yeah, this Swiss is cheese, smart. right? I wonder yes. what the, where that came from with the. I don't know the history it's too much melty. of the Cuban. It's great melty. And you know what? Sometimes, like, cheddar, stuff like that gets lost. You always taste the melted Swiss. It's got that nuttiness to it. You know, you're right. Cheddar does get lost. If you over-melt it, it mm -hmm. just kind of disappears. And then it doesn't stay well. It always mm -hmm. kind of gets hard. This is, like, gooey for days. And don't be afraid for a little overhang on this, too, because yep. then you get the cheesy drip down, turns into lacy, crusty cheese, right? It's all Frica. about the bullet of the sides. Beautiful. I now, as Sonny, if you can... Uh, slather? Yeah, help me slather here. This is you a Detroit-style mm -hmm. Cuban... <laughs> Detroit style. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. You know, last year when we had our end of the year whose recipe won, you know, yeah, the whole year thing... You win that. Too. It was the sliders. You did, with the sliders. Yeah. These things, I'm telling you, this is game day. Hey, America be. seems to love these. But what kind of mustard are you using there, Jeff? Yellow mustard. Yeah. yeah. Yellow. Right over the top? Just good old... Yep. Yeah. Line it up. I forget which one was which. You remember? It doesn't yep, matter. Yep, yeah, it yep. doesn't. Now we're gonna mix this up. Give me a big spoon. We got a mm -hmm. big spoon Probably here somewhere. Good. Now I get to pour this over the top. All that oh, mojo. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And Slow this is motion. just gonna create just like yeah. a glistening, oh. shiny top bun. We're not that worried. Is obviously the magic super... is when you uncover it and it crisps up oh. and you get that buttery, golden, crunchy ah, top. So Do it. All right. Oh. Hey, hey. oh. All right. Why not? Oh, uh, okay. All right. Let me do you the honors. Yeah, do me the I'll honors. Give you a, I'll give you a slice. So we are putting this in the oven, 375, for about 20 minutes until it starts getting all homogenous and melty. So it could take about 20 to 30 minutes, just check on it. And then we're gonna uncover it and kind of blast it with a little direct heat for a minute. I got one ready to go here. You know what these slider bakes remind me of? They're kind of like monkey bread. You yeah. know, that you're pulling Pull apart. apart. The cheese is like gooey. a savory moment. Oh, you don't want to show us? Is that what that was? Oh! I uncovered it. I hit it with a little heat, right? Crisped mm -hmm. it up a little bit, but yeah, it's still say, supple. 
You gotta have a little crispiness, right? All right, I got a little knife somewhere over here. Oh, yeah? Sonny. Oh, did I kill it for you? Sorry, I brought it over here. I was right. cleaning Thank up. You. Now you can get in there. Sometimes you can use the spat, mm -hmm. but if not, you can get a little wall. There are just so many different ways to make these sliders, but a Cubano, it's so smart. Oh, I want a middle that. one, yeah. I'm a middle piece kind of guy, too. Really? Oh, oh my God. That. That's look one serving. That. Now, that's just one serving. Yeah, that's one serving. Um, you know what? Stop at the presses right now. Oh, so okay. I will let you do the honors. OK. I'll cut it for you. No, I got it. I'm, you know, I was going to go in on it. I want that one right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go ahead. You, which one would you like to choose mm. there? It's a nice little hot contained packet. I was doing this. I don't know if you can hear the. That's nice and crunchy and toasty. Well, Cubano is pressed, right? So you do need some texture on there. Look at those layers. I'm trying to get you just a middle piece here, Katie. You look mm -hmm. at all this work I'm doing. It's so That's easy. The one I want. And talk about something easy to throw in the car, bring to your tailgate, bring to your party, bring to your christening, whatever I you're feel celebrating. Like kids would like this too. Jeff, tell me what. I love this. Let me tell you why I love this. Let me count the ways. One, it's like a dream come true. Oh wow. Okay. So a aggressive, but when no. you get a normal Cubano, you've got it's cold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it's got the cheese in it. It's got the ham in it. It's got the mustard, pickles. Everything that you would expect, it's good. This is really taking it to another level being warm. The bread is warm, the cheese is gooey. This is very successful. You've got to check this out.